The Great Crab Sades. A true tale of alternate history presented by Sid Meier's Civilization VI. After founding the religion of the one true crab god, America flourished, adding Las Vegas and Boston. One night only, Shakespeare presents Romeo and Juliet at the Vegas Amphitheater. But envious Spain, seeking to drive influence of its newly established religion against the crab god, converted Boston for its own. America denounced the once friendly Spain, but an ally emerged in Tumris of Scythia, a fellow follower of the ten crab madmen's. Driven by holy liberation, America conquered the city of Seville and conquered Cordoba with Scythia's aid. Spain surrendered. The victory was short-lived, however, as Norway's massive seafaring army appeared on the horizon. It's a massive seafaring army! The only hope for victory rested in the secret island city of Miami and its two last apostles, masters of proselytization and debate. The Vikings came ashore and pounded the lands of the once great Baltimore, pillaging everything. The American defenses held tenuously. It looked as though America was at risk of losing its capital. The itinerant preachers of Miami made landfall on the Viking home continent, while missionaries from Egypt and Scythia converted England to the crabby fold. The last theological debate occurred in the hills of Siberia, where the servants of the crab god proved triumphant. Belief in the crab god was so great that the last two Viking cities converted at once. And with that, the Americans came to win a religious victory. And so concludes this true tale of alternate history. How will your story unfold?